merch, man. It's just merch. It's just merch. Ah, it's just merch. Guys, this merch is so good, it should be illegal. Go shop at BigBearWeatherAndMore.com to get yours. Well, how the heck is everyone doing today? This is a lodging video at my favorite place in all of Big Bear. The most high class, nicest resort, and it's in the village here. So we're gonna take a nice look at it. I'm gonna show you guys how to enter as well. So you're in the village right here. You got like Jack in the Crack right there, a bunch of other little stores over here. Restaurants and bars all throughout this area. And this hotel's right next to the Oakside which is a really great restaurant here in Big Bear's Village. So let's go do this. Here's the oak side. Okay, so now what we wanna do is keep on going past the oak side right here. And this is the Blue Green Resort. They're doing some work on the road right now in front of the resort. So we have to go in through the back. This is the gate we would usually go in right here, but it's closed due to construction. So I'm gonna show you guys how you would have to enter right now. Again, we would usually be driving through there, but we're gonna turn around in this hotel's parking lot and take you into the entrance. We also have this hotel on the lodging portion of this channel in the playlist under lodging. I believe it's the Holiday Inn. We stayed in, I think their biggest room available. It was like 1100 square feet or something like that. So you can check that out as well. All right. Yeah, you guys, by far, this is my favorite place up here, by far. And as I, uh, at the end of the video, I will be mentioning how much I paid. So what we're gonna have to do is we are going to turn right here into the parking lot of Oakside. There's the Oakside restaurant. Oakside restaurant and bar. We just go to the end of the parking lot here and I'll show you how to enter this big beautiful community. Again it's called the Lodge at Big Bear Village and it's a blue green resort. It is part timeshare and part for people like me. Oh the gate's open. I just had to punch in the code a minute ago. Yeah we'll be coming right in through here. And uh, I'll do pretty much a walking tour of all the other pertinent stuff. But for right now, we are staying right here. All right, the camera cut out, but yeah, we're staying right here. This is my little portion of the garage. Oh, it's closing, dang it. It closes by itself, which is, I guess, a good safety feature. So let me get out and open that bad boy. It is the tightest fit. I already parked in it earlier. I backed in and I have to close my windows and everything. Well, look at this place guys it is luxury luxury it's got a code box but oh yeah you know what we don't need to park i'm just going to walk you through the garage portion real quickly and they do have an elevator system in the middle of the building over here but yeah we would pull in here and look at that, it's a huge garage. They have a bunch of little storage units. I don't know if they charge people to use these, but they're probably for these condos individually. And we go through that door at the very end, then there's another door and then the elevators to the left. But yeah, this is a big community garage here. Yeah, let's go check out the rest of the resort. The room's gonna be at the end. It's beautiful folks, enjoy it, peace. What is up, you guys? We are staying here at the villa or the, the lodge at Big Bear Village again. This is the main building that has all the games and checking in and coolest coffee machine with the best hot chocolate. They're doing some work here. 
repaving everything. And uh, yeah, this is this is my favorite place in all of Big Bear. So let's go take a look. Don't mind that noise in the background. By the way, you guys, oh my gosh. Make sure you share happiness. You must share happiness. All right, let's go. They're nice enough to let me record. They even don't have the music on. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this is definitely, you guys, my favorite place up here. As I said, it's the classiest, nicest place. For those of you from my home area in Newport Beach, I know a lot of you are looking for stuff like this. And they have this here in Big Bear. This kind of looks like a Newport Coast style home. But if you misbehave here, that's what they do to you. They hang you from up there. Sorry if I'm all over the place here, but you guys must see how wonderful this place is. And I told the staff I would avoid putting them on camera. Here's an elevator. All right, so we're gonna go down here so we don't get the staff on camera. <laughs> Thanks, Denise. All right, you know what? We'll come back this way shortly. But at the end there, you guys, they have games and pool table and all that stuff. I'll show you that at the end here when they're done vacuuming. This is just a nice, nice lounge area. When it's packed, a great, great comfortable spot to just chill and relax while you're getting ready to check in. And check-in process is so easy, so simple, and they're so friendly. Once again, you guys are gonna be very, very happy to be here. I can promise you that. I always look forward to staying here. And let me tell you guys, I will tell you the price that I paid at the very end of this video. I know the last hotel, I forgot to do that, but I wrote it in the description of the video. That was the Sierra Blue Hotel. But this is the lodge at Big Bear Village. It's a blue-green resort. As you see, it's a, a double-sided fireplace right there. And they're very festive. They have everything ready for Halloween. And as I said, they will hang you from that chandelier if you try to run out without paying your bill. So do not do that. This is where I got my cup of hot cocoa. I know it's still like, like, you know, it's fall, but I love me my hot cocoa. Here's a nice little bar. All right, avoid the staff. Tilt the camera down. Okay, let's go over to this side here. It's a staff closet right there. I'm not gonna show that. Another lounge area, especially in the winter time. They have this fireplace going also and it's, it's just so relaxing, so comfortable. Right at the top of these stairs outside this door is the whole pool area. Of course, we'll be showing you that as well. But yeah, let's go over to the other side where all the games are. And once again, we're coming up to the staff so we keep the camera down. <laughs> I'm not gonna show you, I promise, I promise. I was just, I was, I was trying to tease you and get you on film and then you walked away. Thanks. Yeah, man. Guys, that is the voice of one of the sweetest, kindest folks in this town. I love him to death. His name is Dennis, but out of respect, I'm not gonna put him on camera. See you later. Later, my brother. Okay, this is all kind of like administration as well as, as I said, some restrooms, a huge laundry room. <laughs> and they got a giant room for the children, a giant playroom for the children. So let me just show you guys what's up in here. Oh, you kids are gonna love this room. Huge bean bags. You can jump from off, the, off top of this table and do flips. Just kidding, don't do that. But yeah, chalkboards, a huge one of these games right here. Oh my gosh, that's a giant one. 
Let's go over here, take, take a look from this view. You parents are gonna be very happy here. I promise you that. Now we're going over to the big boy side. The big boy side. Of course, you got the nice big screen on the wall. Pool tables, ping pong table. I'm gonna have to teach my wife a lesson tonight on the ping pong table. Hopefully she doesn't file for divorce papers after that because I am gonna be whooping her butt. She thinks she'll beat me. Again, guys, that's, that's like addictive behavior to say that you're gonna beat me at ping pong because that's just not gonna happen. I am the best. <laughs> I am Forrest Gump at this ping pong thing. But yeah, here's this lovely room. And again, we got an exit over here to the right. And they have a beautiful waterfall just outside this door. I'm telling you guys, I've gone there and just sat there for about an hour and just meditated. And it's, it's a fantastic experience here. This place will take you away yet keep all the amenities that you're used to. Thank you. All right, let's go upstairs, y'all. That's scary right there. That is scary. And I don't know why, but with this new iOS update, you guys, my camera won't stay going. The, the screen starts to darken and I'm really upset about it. I didn't see this one. Oh my gosh. It's, uh... Again, you guys, if you leave this place without paying your bill, this is what they're gonna do to you right there. You must pay your bills. But look at this place, just spectacular. Absolutely beautiful. I think this was the view of our thumbnail before on the last video we did here. All right. There were some, some customers there, so I don't, I don't wanna get them on film. Beautiful artwork. So this is a timeshare also, you guys. This isn't just uh, like, uh, I don't find this room on my Expedia account always. Of course, the elevator. Fitness center, I will show you guys that whole area soon. We're gonna start off over here and my pants are falling down. So I need to find a place to set down my drink and pull these bad boys up. Another wonderful, comfortable lodge area or lounge area. Look at this room. I love this place. Again, it reminds me of my home hometown. It's got that, that Newport Beach vibe to it. I hope that that doesn't sound uh, pompous because I'm not trying to be. I'm just telling you guys it's comfortable higher class, definitely the nicest, as I said, nicest resort up here. There's not really a close second in terms of how nice. All right, so we got all this, all these areas to lounge. You can do some, some work right there on the computer. It's very comfortable. Look at, how, look at that tape, beautiful. <clears throat> For those of you who like to bury your head in books on vacation, here you go. You know what? I have a friend, his name's Jordan. His father, his family took us to uh, Aruba, Curacao, and uh, his dad's suitcase was so heavy, I swear, he had one pair of clothes and the rest was books. But this man is one of the, the brightest physicians you would ever, ever meet. And here we go. This is where you would get your towels to go out to the pool area, which is right out here. We will be there shortly. The room's gonna be last on here, but I promise you're not gonna be bummed. Look at this. You guys know what a bathroom looks like, right? Of course. Who's that funny looking guy right there? Jeez Louise. Uh, that's kind of interesting. <laughs> this isn't San Francisco, so this is not 
what you think it's used for, I'm sure. Is this a shower? Yes, we've got a shower back here too. Not, it's, it's not even a shower in your room, so that's where you would come and shower when you're done in the pool. To get all cleaned up. Let's go to the fitness center. Okay, huge. They've got everything you need in here. Oh yeah, wonderful. I mean, literally everything you need in here. Instruction on so many different types of exercises. Cute little sinky. Sinky little. Never mind. Sometimes my, my mind goes places and uh, it really shouldn't. It's kind of inappropriate sometimes, but we got the restrooms right here and here, the private restrooms for the gym area. We're not gonna go in these, these restrooms though, but if, if I remember, they were a little more uh, plentiful with more stuff in these bathrooms. But yeah, just come in here and get a great workout on and Pat yourself on the back for doing it. I only use these 50 pound weights for my sets of 65 uh, bicep curls at a time. I know that's not much, but you know. And then I woke up. <sighs> Another restroom over here. All right, well, that's the workout room. Let's make like Tom and Cruz into another room. I gotta put the drink down because I can't open the door. I don't have three hands. All right. Let's see right here. What's up, guys? Wait till you see this huge like game room back here. It's wonderful. Employees only. Some more restrooms. Another exit down here. And what do we got over here? Some more employees only. Make sure we don't have anybody in here who I'm gonna be getting on camera. Cool. This is my favorite room in the place. Upstairs, a big game room. They have everything going on here from poker to chess and checkers and everything you can imagine. Look at the, be look at the beautiful woodwork up there. Just blah. Feels like a mountain cabin in here, doesn't it? A nice, sophisticated mountain cabin. All right. Again, you guys, just a really comfortable spot. These chairs, I remember sitting in them last time I was here. So comfortable. I don't know what this is saying on here. Oh, that's the channel guide. And let's go over to my very favorite part of my very favorite room. Look at that. Look at all those TVs. Just, would you look at it? Just look at it. Would you look at it? A little more homage to Ed Bassmaster. Oh, would you look at it? Got some beautiful old vintage skis on the wall for decoration. It looks great. Yeah, once again, everything about this place, you guys, screams luxury. Again, for this area, this is as luxury as it gets. Obviously, you could probably rent some Airbnbs that are pretty exquisite as well, but for the hotel lodging, this is as good as it gets. And again, wait till you guys hear what I paid at the very end. You guys are gonna be blown away. Here's an outdoor patio right here. It's gonna be a little noisy because they're doing all that work. 
Okay, so I didn't catch the screen when it went dark to touch it again so it stays open. Really frustrated about that, but we're going out to the back patio right here. And this is just a very nice, usually relaxing area with a lake view right there. And remember you guys, you're in the village here. So everything is walking distance here. And I'm parked up, up next to that white truck for right now. And here's the beautiful waterfall. Again, I know it's really loud right now, so forgive me. Only thing I think it's missing is there should be some artwork on either side of those televisions and maybe even something right above. I'm no critique or no crit. I'm no critique. I'm no critic. In this place, it, it's hard to find anything to critique because it's, it's such a beautiful place. All right, well, we're gonna head back down here. Again, just a spectacular shot right there. Look at this place, just beautiful. Let's go down. I need to find a trash can for this hot chocolate, but I am, you know what, I'm gonna get a second one because it's that good. I'm a hot chocolate fiend. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you the hot chocolate machine. For most normal people, it's the coffee machine, but I love hot chocolate, so we're gonna do another one here. Look at this thing. And it's really good hot chocolate. Let's see here. Just push the screen, chocolate drinks. Hot cocoa. Oh yeah. All right. We're gonna head on outside. Thank you again. You too, you too. All right, guys. This is where we came in. I'm gonna walk up to the pool area. Again, usually this is the entrance that you come in where that red truck or the orange truck is blocking it. But unfortunately, they're doing all this work on the darn place, or fortunately. I just wish it wasn't while I was here, but I respect it, at least they're maintaining. Here's another water feature on our way up to the pool. And you can get into the second floor of where we were just at, right through that door. Right, here's the pool area. Oh, there's people there so we're not gonna we're not gonna do a full video of that but yeah this is the entire pool area I'll come back and get a little more of the pool once these people are evacuated out of here and those are the presidential suites Again, if you want to see what those look like, check out the first video I did a year ago in the lodging part of the playlist called Lodging. And it's the, the Lodge Big Bear. 
village, the lodge at Big Bear Village. Of course, the jacuzzi is over here. And as I said, out of respect for the folks enjoying the pool, we'll come back later and do the pool when no one's there. Let's see here. All right, cool. They even, it's, it's even handicap accessible, y'all. Nice. Nice little area. Huge, huge jacuzzi. Wait, no, wait, you know what? This might be the kids' pool, actually. Let me see. Yeah, that's the kids' pool. My bad. I was thinking that's way, way too big to be a jacuzzi. The jacuzzi's over in the pool area. As I said, we'll come back in a little bit to do the pool area. Take a walk around here. Once again, these are the presidential suites over here. And right next to us here is Oakside Restaurant where all those cars in, in that, that parking lot are parked. It's Oakside Restaurant, and down the street is my favorite restaurant in town called the Himalayan. I love the Himalayan. It's, for me, it's terrific Indian food. I don't know how many of you are fans of Indian food, but I absolutely adore it. We're just gonna create our own path until we get to the path. Got a fire, fire pit area for warmth. I remember last time we were here at night, those things were roaring and it's so nice because it's so warm. I think we're over there somewhere. We're in a two bedroom villa, as I told you guys earlier. There we go, walking next to the, the little kids pool and the grown up pool. Okay, there's the jacuzzi right there. And yeah, just a beautiful spot. Again, my very favorite place in all of Big Bear. come do a more thorough pool excursion as I said once those folks are gone but for right now I'm gonna go up to the parking lot that we had to park in to check in since they're doing all that construction in this place loaded with snow something special but yeah we'll see you shortly we shall see you shortly I just got one one more view all right guys let's go to the pool the pool hogs have finally left <laughs> No such thing as a pool hog. You can be in the pool as long as you want. But my gosh. They were going to get crinkly sitting down here so long. Of course, this is where your towels go. When you're done using them. It's a really warm and inviting spot, you guys. Take a look from these corners. As I pointed out earlier, those are the presidential suites right there. They are two and three stories. Three stories if you count the garage that you have to park there. Mm 
and of course your lovely jacuzzi which i will turn around and show you guys a minute there's the button for the jets at least this hotel's jets work we just stayed at the blue green resort and uh, they're known for being a swim club and their jets don't work in the, in, in, in the jacuzzi i know the jacuzzi is not part of the swim club i guess but that was super disappointing that was one of the main reasons we stayed there was for their whole pool and that situation but yeah we got a nice big jacuzzi right here it's lovely more handicap access i love the smell of a pool area i love that chlorine smell it's that scent of vacation it's like aromatherapy Again, surrounded by beautiful, beautiful villas. It's a wonderful spot. I never heard of Blue Green Resorts until this place came in here. And uh, I'm going to be looking around the country for other Blue Green Resorts because this place is wonderful. All right, we already did the kiddie pool. This main view right here though, once again. And then we're gonna go up to a little barbecue area. Yeah, look at that, just epic. Just so beautiful. All right, let's go. These people are Coming back down again, but we're gonna avoid them. So got everything up there. Let's see, there's 11, building 11. We're in building number 12. Those are the people. You would think when you're on vacation, you'd be smiling and, you know, being nice and. I just smiled at them and got like just the the rudest look, but some people are miserable and bitter these days. I don't blame them. I don't blame them. Look at the state we're in right now, but oh, let's go up to this little barbecue area. And then we will be doing the room. The three bedroom that we had last time had its own barbecue and all the presidential suites have their own barbecues. A massive barbecue area, look at this. I got three high quality barbecues. Oh yeah, it's so beautiful. Yeah, guys, life's too short to be bitter all the time. If you can't smile, and if you're rude to people when you're on a vacation, I, I just wish you the best, because I don't want anyone to be miserable and bummed. Not about anything. I just lost my dad. But I'm not going to treat other people with disrespect. But anyway, cool. That'll do it. Let's go check out the whole room situation, folks. All right, you guys, so from the parking spot where we just were, after I just showed you the inside of the main part of the lodge here, this is where my garage is. And oh my gosh, the fit was tight, at least to get through the threshold. Then it closed all by itself, that's crazy. But yeah, this is our garage here. And then I'm gonna walk us up to the room. But first I thought I would show you the garage. Oh. And we're in room 106. I already went in, turned on all the lights like I used to do in my real estate days. And look, it's a huge garage. Huge garage. Here's my beast right here. But yeah. So, let me just grab something out of the beast. 
I think, I'm really glad it shut by itself. That's pretty awesome. Okay, I know my car's a mess, but it's because I have all this crap. Crib, cribby, crib, crib. And for every new hotel we stay in, I buy myself one of those like 15 packs of those mocha frappuccinos. I already put one in the fridge here in this hotel. And my next trip, trip down is going to be to grab my two super down pillows. I swear, I spent a fortune on a bunch of down pillows for my wife and myself. I mean a fortune. Each one of them was like 160 bucks and probably have like 15 of them. And I used what they call a firm on Amazon <laughs> to, to pay it later, but I wanted my wife to have a, a, like a brand new beautiful bed set because I can't afford to be doing stuff like that. If I had to pay for it all at once, I wouldn't be able to do it. But she deserves it. Here's the gate that we're coming in since they're doing all the construction. Here's the village. This building beyond the trees, just on the right-hand side there, that's Oakside Restaurant. There's Stella Luna straight in front of us. That's Village Drive. All right, let's do this. And those stairs scared me because as I told you guys, I invited my mom up here. She lives a long way away and she can't really walk that well. And when I saw that it was uh, stairs that high, I panicked, called the front desk and I said, in the middle of the building, there is an elevator, which I did not expect that to be the case. So, cause my mom wouldn't have been able to come up here. All right, let's do this. Let's enter room 106. Got a pantry right there. Everything you need for cooking and baking. You can see the ovens down there. Nice stove top up here. We've got that's the kitchen sink, toaster, coffee maker, microwave. And it comes with all the amenities also. So like when you open these, they got your plates and all, well usually most of these have something in it. Measuring cups. I'm sure a lot of people bake cookies here Because why wouldn't you in a place like this? Get the place smelling amazing Yeah, let me get over here real quickly and Show you guys down below All the storage down there for everything A really nice little island setup. You got power right there as well Plug in anywhere We got the fireplace going. And as I told you guys, every time we stay in a new one of these places, I put one of those in there. All right. Let's go over here. Take a nice look at this whole area. Look at my bag right there. So we're gonna check out the little rooms first, and then we will go into the master. Master, master, master of puppets is pulling your strings. All 
All right, let's do this. Fire extinguisher inside. We got our own washer dryer, folks. Look at that. Look at that, and an ironing board and a plunger. All the good stuff. All right, let's go into the the community bat community restroom in the room. Again, everything in here is nice, and the light turns on by itself right when you walk in. Boom. So I don't know if they're supposed to have a towel hanging on there, but it is what it is. I'm happy. I'm not complaining about anything. Really nice floors. A nice toilet that looks like a Toto, but no, it's a Kohler. Here's our wonderful shower for the guest bedroom. Unfortunately, there's no bathtub on this side, but wait till you see the bathtub in my room. If I, if I wasn't married, I would give my mom the master bedroom every time, like I used to when I was doing these videos before I met my wife up here. I was uh, always inviting my mom, because I never get to see her, and uh, I would always give her the master bedroom. Oh wait, speaking of bedrooms, I didn't go check out the bedroom. So here's one of the bedrooms. Looks really warm and inviting. Of course, we got a closet over here to the left. Let me just uh, get you a better view of that side of the room. Nice little dresser. I like the color scheme on these dressers. It's great. That blue is really nice. Yeah, so there's really nothing on the walls other than the TV right there. But again, it's a very comfortable spot. This is what it looks like from, from the bed. You got your window right here. Look outside. We're going to go out there in a moment. Again, guys, this, this room is just super comfortable. The beds are done well. They're well done. I think that's a king. Oh, yeah. So that's the guest bedroom. We're going to head over here to the master bedroom. And again, guys, in the previous video I did here, I think a year ago, just go into the lodging portion of this playlist and look for or lodging portion of the playlist on the channel and look for big bear the lodge at big bear village blue green resorts and you will find it it's a really long video just like this one's going to be really long as well but there's so much to capture here all right okay we got our, our nice view outside here Big, huge houses right up there. A little window into the shower. That's pretty cool. I didn't notice that when I first came in here. But yeah. This is the beautiful master bedroom. Let's get a nice look at the whole bed here. And once again, when we go in this bathroom, the light turns on by itself. I love that feature. So yeah, once again, from our bed laying down, that is the view. B-E-A, beautiful. And then, let's take a look at the shower through the window here. All right, let's go into the bathroom. Got a nice little closet right here. Of course, it's dark, but not, not anymore. Light, let there be light. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at the bathtub area first. Look at how cool that is. Look at how cool that is. We got a nice bathtub there. And his and hers sink. 
Again, really nice floors. And we've got the pupa. We got the pupa. Light turns on by itself here in the pupa. This is what it looks like when you're on the pupa. Hello, baby. How's my bacon and eggs going? Cheerio. Oh, look at that. I'm seriously, we're gonna really enjoy that bathtub, the wife and myself. So yeah, that's what we got going here. That's what we got going, this beautiful bathroom, a beautiful place to stay. Now the last place we're gonna go check out on this room, in this room, is outside. patio set up here we've got some rooms above us as well hopefully they're not stomping like crazy but these places are built super solid so I'm not really worried about that but yeah this looks like a little creek that they have created when we get when we get wet up here so yeah guys this is the room here's the other door to the guest bedroom All right, y'all. Thank you guys for going on this journey with me. I think this is the only room in this hotel we hadn't stayed in yet. So that's why we're doing it for you. Thanks again for cruising. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it wasn't too long of a video. I try to make them as thorough as I possibly can because I want you guys to really be able to see what to expect before you come up to Big Bear. Because it's a lot of money you guys pay to come stay up here. It, uh, it takes, uh, you got to take time off of work, the long drive, the gas, everything. It, it, it ends up costing a lot of money, so I don't want you guys to make a mistake. I want you guys to be thrilled when you get here. And I paid $590 for three nights, which, believe it or not, is a huge deal here. Huge deal. In the wintertime, it's more than that just for one night. So what we're going to do now is... I forgot we got one more portion of the video to do. So we're gonna, first we're gonna lock this sliding glass door. But I'm gonna show you guys, instead of taking the stairs, I'll show you that you can actually, uh, there we go, go down and up an elevator. So we're gonna cruise over there and show you all what's up. Let me put the do not disturb on there. Okay, there's that. So when we came up here, we came through that door right there, which worried me for my mom to come up all those steps. But literally right next to our room is the elevator. Just fantastic. Got a nice little lounge area here too. And a nice view out there of the pool in between those buildings. You can see the pool right there. Yeah, that's a great spot. So let's take the elevator down all the way back to the car. Again, beautiful woodwork. I like the vaulted look. Once again, we're in building number 12, room 106. And as soon as we get back to the garage, we're probably shut by itself. As I said, this video is gonna be kaput. 
that we can get in. Oh, there's the ice in there. That light turned on all by itself too. Look at that. Ooh, it's a little spooky back there. So we can get to our car, I'm sure. Just keep on going through those doors right there to get all the way to the end, but we're not gonna do that. And the reason why they have it like that is so you don't have to walk in the cold and the snow. All right, last time we were here, we stayed in this room right there. Three bedroom, three times as big as the room we're in now, as I said, check it out. But yeah, once again, thank you guys. I know I already said that, but I really mean it. Thank you guys for being here with me. Thank you for uh, showing me support. And I would really, really love it if you gave me a thumbs up and a subscribe, please. I work hard at this. It would mean a lot to me. Thank you. Here we are. All right, take care guys. Until next time from beautiful Big Bear Lake and my lodging part of this channel. I love you guys a lot. Talk to you soon.